So, hey guys, I've been very excited for this one. I uh, hope you guys will enjoy it too. I know quite a lot about this game, but I haven't been able to talk about it until it came out. Jeez. God, where do I even start? Uh, <laughs> Sorry, I'm a bit jittery because, because of how excited I am. I know a lot more about it than I'm allowed to let on because of, I guess, journalistic integrity. I'm not really a journalist, but I work for this online magazine. You can kind of call me their minority support when they write something and they address a minority, like, gay people, they'll be like, hey, here's what we wrote. Are we addressing the gays in a sensitive and relatable manner, right? And I kind of helped them with that. For this one specifically, they were like, hey, you've mentioned how much you enjoy games where, where you can create your own main character and have your own interpretation of them. And this is one of those games, and it leaves a lot up to interpretation. They even asked me to ghostwrite a part of the article, so I wrote like two alineas for it. I, I don't think I'll share the link, because um, I really appreciate how hard they try, but they're not by far there yet. They're kind of still gamer bros platform and until they kind of fix themselves i uh, regret not have my name attached to them <laughs> but they they know that i'm very open about it they appreciate my help i'm doing it for free too so it's all good sometimes they get to play games before they actually come out and because i review their articles, I get to know things about games before they come out as well. So yeah, I've been excited to play this one for quite a bit now. I'm going to play the first round, like up until my first death, for a let's play, and after that I'm probably going to live stream it. So we're, we're going to see how that goes and if people enjoy watching me play. But that's the plan, at least. Okay, let's see how this goes. I'm also using my mouse and keyboard for this. So if you notice me doing a lot of hand stretches, it's because of that. Another challenger. It has been ages. Perhaps you have forgotten how this game is played. Allow me to remind you. Play the scroll card. Place it there. Now play your stone. This S. Stone. I love the stone. Stones cost one blood. Sacrifices must be made. Scroll goes. An honorable death. Play the stone. There you go, friend. Wolves require. Two sacrifices. You do not have enough. I love this little bell. Your stoat stands unopposed. The number on the bottom left is its attack power. So this one. It's one. Your stoat dealt me one damage. I added it to the scale. That's this little tote. Oh, it's a dice now. It'll, it'll, it'll be teeth later. <laughs> you win if you tip my side all the way down. Like this. My turn. Coyote. Your toad stands in the way of my coyote. My coyote dealt two damage to your stove. That means your stoat's health is too less. If a creature's health reaches zero, it dies. It's your turn again. You may draw from your deck, or you may draw a scroll. So, I think I'm going to draw a scroll. 
four. Yeah, I'm going to draw a squirrel. How dull. Well, yeah, maybe. Maybe. I'm sorry, so. So, I'm going to. The wolf demands two sacrifices. So, I'll sacrifice the squirrel. And my friend the stoat. Huh? Hey! Fear not, the beast is sacrificed, but not removed from your deck. Its suffering was real, but w you will see it again. So I will put the wolf here. And the wolf will end up killing the coyote. Yes. Because you are learning, I will pass. Oh, it's a river snapper. Three damage dealt. Three weights on the scale. Let's grab a scroll. You've won this match. They won't all be so easy. <laughs> Let me recall your story. Oh, yes. You are lost deep in the forest. A single path revealed itself. Let's go there. Two denizens of the forest approach you tentatively. The caustic adder, damage from its poison bite, is always lethal. The undying cat, sacrificing the poor beast, does not kill it. I like the cat a lot, so I'll get the cat. Another creature joins your caravan. Some of the creatures of the forest seem willing to follow you. You came across an abandoned sack. You found a squirrel in a bottle, break in case of emergency. And have a second. <laughs> this one's really something. Another useful implement. I'll allow you to tip the scales with it. Three is as much as you can carry. <laughs> you were ambushed while crossing some rough terrain. You sacrificed me while I was sleeping. It was the right play. I get it. Maybe. Maybe you helped me? Play along for now. First of all, oh, you cannot draw a card on your first turn. Forgot about that. So, let me place this one. And I'm going to place the cat here because it cannot die. And then I kill the cat, but it doesn't die. So I place the stove. Here we go. I know that the items might help. I don't need it right now. Mind the ambitious wolf cup. It ages swiftly. Airborne bat flies over creatures to attack directly. Oh, ha, my bat flew right over your river snapper. Okay, uh, there's not much I can do right now. I'll have to wait until he breaks my boulder and then I can do a play. Thank you. Now I can sacrifice the cat and the squirrel and place my wolf there. There you go. You 
never failed, and trekked onwards past in our bloody terrain. Wolf cup. The young wolf cup. It grows into a wolf after a single turn. Cool. The meek sparrow. An inexpensive, if feeble, flying creature. I like the sparrow. You stumble into some strange stones in the mist. You are com compelled to choose a worthy sacrifice, one that will be lost forever. Okay. I'm sorry, cat. Wait. Healthy host. Pick me. So, I like giving the cat to the stoat because it means that the stoat will become unkillable and I love the stoat so it helps a lot yes okay a chastely spectacle but the soul of the cat now lives in the stoat and Oh, behold my totem. It inscribes my canine cards with the airborne sigil. He's completely insane. You see that, right? No care for the rules. Pathetic, really. Enough. Only keeps me around to watch me suffer. Okay, wait. Oh no, they're all flying. Okay. Scroll. So, back on the board. I'll use an item. Stoat and scroll, and I'll place you there. And I saw. <laughs> Sorry if I'm a bit overpowered. Impressive, you might yet survive this ordeal. Knock on wood. Okay, let's see. Wolf. Bullfrog. The watchful bullfrog. It leaps in the way of attacking flyers. That's helpful. An adder. I like the bullfrog. I could do another upgrade. Or I could go to the campfire. Your campfire makes other cards stronger. Think I'm going to upgrade someone though. Okay, sacrifice. Sacrifice my bullfrog. Make him into... River Snapper. Because he has a lot of health. So if he could protect me from flying creatures, that would be really helpful. Thank you. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, scroll. Oh my god, okay. Whatever, I 
do that gravely is going to kill my wolf in one go. But... It's going to protect me for at least a bit. Thank you for your sacrifice. way out for both of us. Somewhere in this vault cabin. Be silent or I will tear you to shreds. Well earned point of damage. I didn't think you would really do it. Shit, I don't think it's enough. I'll die. I'll die. Yeah, I'm dead. Okay. You've lost. Using this as a learning opportunity might be the only way to mitigate my disappointment. Get up. Get up from the table. Fetch me the candlestick from atop the barrel beside the door. Okay, how does... <gasps> okay. I know that there's a book somewhere. There, that's the count. Oh. Here, I need that one. But that code isn't in the instruction manual. I, I did remember the code though, so... That was kind of cheating. <laughs> Should probably go here. The monstrous grizzly. Its form speaks enough of its efficiency. The refiled skunk. Its stench reduces the strength of the enemy. The bullfrog. I think I'm going to do the grizzly. That's cool. Came across a small group of survivors. Faces shrunken from starvation, they huddled around the campfire. They looked upon your group of creatures and beckoned. Come, warm one of your creatures by the fire, one said. Warm it by the fire, that will enhance its power, said another. You noticed one of the survivors wiping drool from their mouth. Right, right, right. Hmm. The fire warmed the poor stove, enhancing its power. One of the survivors reached towards it. Oh, no, no, no. Another gnashed their teeth. Without a word, you pulled the stove away from the fire and left. Oh boy, okay. <clears throat> this one's really scary. The trees seemed to close in around you as a chill mist descended. In the distance you could hear the clinking of metal and stone. A hobbled figure stood in your path. Hee-haw! It was the prospector! He's doing the prospector again. Easy boss, the mole's the key. The mole. I. This spot? You sure? Yeah, I'm sure.
Did I neglect to mention overkill damage? Excess damage is not wasted. Carries over to the card behind the mangled corpse of the victim. Lucky for you. I hope you didn't think it would be that easy. <gasps> There's gold in them cards. No! I cannot play anything. Well, that <laughs> almost went well. <laughs> you aren't that yet. This isn't purgatory. Though you might think of it that way. Before you expire, I must ask you a favor. I would like a memento. Your very own death guard. It's quite plain at the moment, isn't it? We will work together to amend that. I want this to be the perfect memento of you. Here are some cards from your mediocre deck. We can put them to good use. Please, choose a card to draw the cost from. Well, they cost the same, so, but I'll pick the wall. Two blood from the wolf. The power and health numbers. Well, don't mind if I do you grizzly. <laughs> Four power and six health from the grizzly. Now choose a card from which we will extract the sigils. The sparrow. Sigil of airborne from the sparrow. This would be a very powerful card. Why? This is Emil. There is now but one final matter. The portrait. Are you ready? I guess I don't like pictures, but you do not need to smile. Huh? That was your first look at Inscription. What did you guys think? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Which cards were your favorites? What did you think of my strategies? Please leave a comment below.